Hans Bauer, SS Gruppenführer and General Lieutenant of the Police, owner of the Iron Cross First Class, Adolf Hitler's personal pilot. If you enjoy these types of videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube algorithm to serve more viewers like you. Thank you. Hans Bauer was born June 19, 1897 in Ampfing, Kingdom of Bavaria. He was called up to the Bavarian Army in 1915, and trained in field artillery. He then joined the Air Force as an artillery spotter. After the World War I, he joined the Free Corps under Franz von Epp. He went on to become a courier flyer for the Bavarian Airmail Service. Beginning in 1922, he was a pilot for Bayerisch Luftloid, and then Junkers Luftverkehr. In 1926, Bauer became a pilot of Deutsche Lufthansa. In the same year, he also became a member of the NSDAP or the Nazi Party. On April 1, 1931, he flew the opening flight of the Berlin, Munich, Rome route, known as the Alpine Flight, whose passengers included Nuncius Eugenio Pacelli, Arturo Toscanini, and Tsar Boris III of Bulgaria. Hitler's Personal Pilot Hitler was the first politician to campaign by air travel, deciding that travel by plane was more efficient than travel by railway. Bauer first served as his pilot during the 1932 general election. Hitler obtained his first private airplane, a Junkers Ju 52-3M with registration number D2600 in 1933, after becoming German Chancellor. The same registration number continued to be used for all aircraft used by Hitler, even during the war years. The Ju-52 was named Immelmann II after the First World War pilot Max Immelmann. Bauer was personally selected by Hitler to be his official pilot in 1933 and was consequently released from service by Lufthansa. Bauer was appointed head of Hitler's personal squadron, initially based in Munich. As the Luftwaffe was not yet officially established, Hitler wanted Bauer to be able to command sufficient power and respect to assure his security. Therefore, Bauer was commissioned a colonel in the SS by Heinrich Himmler in October, 1933. Bauer was given the task of expanding and organizing Hitler's personal squadron and the government flying group. Hitler allowed Bauer to fill his squadron with experienced Lufthansa pilots, including George Betts who became co-pilot for Hitler's aircraft and Hans Bauer's substitute. By 1937, Hitler had three Ju-52 airplanes for flight use. Then in 1937, Hitler obtained a new aircraft, the Focke-Wulf FW-200 Condor which was named Immelmann III. The Condor had a much greater range and was faster than the Ju-52. In 1942, an improved model of the Condor was put into use for Hitler's travels and Bauer continued to be his primary pilot. A Ju-290 was assigned to Hitler's renamed squadron, Fliegerstaffel de Führers, in late 1944. Modifications were completed by February 1945 at the base Fliegerstaffel de Führers at Pocking, Bavaria. Bauer tested the aircraft, but Hitler never flew in it. Still by the end of the war, Bauer commanded a total of 40 different aircraft, including Ju-52, Condors, Ju-290 and the Little Fiesler Phi-156 Storch. Although he tried to convert Bauer to vegetarianism, Hitler also invited him to the Reich Chancellery for his favorite meal of pork and dumplings for his 40th birthday and gave him a Mercedes-Benz to replace his personal Ford. On January 31, 1944, Bauer was promoted to SS Brigadier General and Major General of the Police, and on February 24, 1945, he became an SS Major General and General Lieutenant of the Police. During the last days of the war, Bauer was with Hitler in the Führer bunker. Bauer had devised a plan to allow Hitler to escape from the Battle of Berlin, a Fiesler Phi-156 Storch was held on standby which could take off from an improvised airstrip near the Brandenburg Gate. However, Hitler refused to leave Berlin. On April 26, 
1945, the improvised landing strip was used by Hanna Reich to fly in Colonel General Robert Ritter von Grime, appointed by Hitler as head of the Luftwaffe after Hermann Göring's dismissal. During the evening of April 28, Reich flew von Grime out on the same road strip to Plan. On April 29, 1945, the Soviet Red Army launched an all-out attack on the center of Berlin. The Soviet artillery opened up with intense fire in and around the Reich Chancellery area. That evening in the bunker complex below the Chancellery Garden, Hitler said his farewell to his personal pilots, Bauer and Betz. Bauer pleaded with Hitler to leave Berlin. The men volunteered to fly Hitler out of Germany in a Ju-390 into safety. It was in vain as Hitler turned Bauer down, stating he had to stay in Berlin. Bauer stayed in the bunker complex until Hitler killed himself on the afternoon of April 30th. After Hitler's suicide, Bauer found the improvised road strip too potholed for use and overrun by the Soviet Third Shock Army. A plan was devised to escape out from Berlin to the Allies on the western side of the Elba or to the German army to the north. SS Brigadefuhrer Wilhelm Monk split up the Reich Chancellery and Fuhrer bunker soldiers and personnel into ten main groups. Bauer, Betz and Martin Bormann left the Reich Chancellery as part of one of the groups. During the escape attempt, Bauer was shot in the legs, and the wound was so serious that his right lower leg was later amputated in Posen on June 10, 1945, while a Soviet prisoner of war. Bauer was of great interest to his captors, who believed he might have flown Hitler to safety before the fall of Berlin. They also believed he had information concerning stolen art, specifically about the plundering of the Amber Room in Leningrad. He was taken to the Soviet Union and imprisoned there for 10 years before being released on October 10, 1955. The French then imprisoned him until 1957. Later Life in Book Bauer returned to West Germany and in 1957 wrote his autobiography I Flew the Mighty of the Earth. Later, a lengthened version was published as Between Heaven and Earth with the Mighty. The French translation is titled I Was Hitler's Pilot, The Fate of the World Was in My Hands. The book is a collection of Bauer's eyewitness accounts of Hitler's daily activities and conversations. It is unique because Hans Bauer, as his private pilot and personal friend, was in Hitler's presence practically every day from 1933 to 1945. The book also includes an account of the events surrounding the arrest of Ernst Röhm by Hitler himself on June 30, 1934 at Bad Weissee in which Bauer took part. The book tells of Bauer's dislike for Hermann Göring, whom Bauer describes as a thick-headed glutton. Bauer was one of the few people who was truly close to Hitler and was one of the last people to see him alive in the Berlin bunker. The book has since been translated into English, with the title I Was Hitler's Pilot, and is an insider's account of Hitler's life and doings as leader of the German Reich. Hans Bauer married Elfriede Bauer in 1923. Their only daughter, Ingeborg, was born the following year. After Elfriede Bauer's death from cancer in 1935, Bauer married again, with Hitler as his best man. His second wife, Maria, by whom he had two daughters, died while he was in captivity in the Soviet Union. His third wife, Crescentia, survived him. Bauer died in Germany on February 17, 1993. If you enjoy these types of videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube algorithm to serve more viewers like you. Thank you.